Hi, I'm Lacedi Felix, CEO of Hyper Productions. Here we'll be sharing with you some cultural practices in the performing arts of Trinidad and Tobago. We have here with us today Mr. Jason Keller, a professional drummer from Delaware, who'll be sharing some of his practices with you. The arrangement is a song calls for, um, and what feels good too, you know. Um, and you kind of know that as you play more, you, you start to do, you start to experiment with things. You're like, oh, that didn't sound right. Okay, let me try something else. And before you know it, you know it all kind of kind of irons itself out. For the for the most part, like when you started, yeah, when you started, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but you were playing like every single note on the hi hat, and I feel like you can get tired real quick. Most of the time, I feel like either just keep it to and do open cl uh, closed open. which is easy because the the hi hat foot goes down with the bass drum. Really simple, both of just kind of move together. And then uh, you kind of started to do it in the second half where you did triple beats. You can kind of go back and forth. Fills and stuff you were doing, like it was simple, straightforward to the point. You know, a lot of this is like getting kind of like technical, but if you think about it, a lot of the parts that are being played on the pans and everything are like 16th note based. Da 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 da. Like with the iron plates. Da 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 da. So a lot of the rhythms are uh, are played that on the pan. So. If you if you play something as simple as that for the fills, it's gonna sound good. You know, um, it doesn't have to be anything crazy, and you can mix it up how you want to do it. Right? You can kind of mix it up however you want around the drums. Um, but try that real quick. So just doing, just open close. Just start with that. Like, uh, trying to play too much, you know, and it still gives you the feel. Yeah, exactly. And the, when you're playing the fill, the timing's right there. It's not fluctuating or anything. That's what you want. Cause, and again, think about it. When you're playing the hi hat part, it might not feel full to you because you're just playing the eighth notes. But you have the iron, you have the scratcher, like you have so many different instruments that are filling up that space for you um, to give it the full sound within the band. You know? um, yeah, it's decent, man. You sound good. Sound good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
Any other questions or anything? Uh, oh yeah, I just see for that one, that one. <laughs> uh -huh. For like these three? Not the bass drum? Or? The, that one. That one. This one? Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so I'm going to Big Pan Group, but in Big Pan Group at Kitty Valley. And of course, everybody come, come, come. It's a pleasure to have Mr. Jason Keller here with us. Um, let's give him a round of applause. Um, last, last thing before we wrap up this session, which is an impromptu session, you know, we, we just saw him walking into the panyard. Carnival Friday, which which other day are better than Carnival Friday, you know? Fantastic, Fantastic Friday. Friday. Fantastic Friday. And of, of course, one of our very own upcoming drummers, Davon, was able to get some tips from him, right? And of course, Nazim would have been the one who would have invited him to the Japan yard. So, um, before we wrap up the session, could you guys give us a little history, uh, uh, could be brief, a uh, background history of yourself and and the field that you are in, which will be percussion, so that um, we will have a nice understanding. Our persons will take this session a little more seriously, yeah. knowing a little bit more of their background. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. So, what's interesting is I didn't even get into like steel pan and uh, um, panorama bands and stuff. The, the first panorama band I played for was 2017 in Philly, Philadelphia Pan Stars. So that's kind of like my home band. I live in Delaware, but Philly's right down the road. It's like a half hour away. Um, so that's kind of where I got introduced to Pan and soca music and everything. Uh, before that, I did a lot of drumline and marching band, um, marching band stuff, teaching, arranging, um, even writing the formations and stuff. But. Um, yeah, a lot of my background comes from that marching band and drum line. Um, so a lot of the tempo and rhythmic stuff that I that I have going for me, I really got from that. Um, before that, I actually did a drill team in the city of Wilmington called Imperial Dynasty, and um, that's kind of where I got my feel from because very similar to here. When I went there, um, they taught everything by road. Like they just they sang the part to us or played the part, and we had to play it back. So I I learned a different way to grasp the music and to feel the music. Um, and I owe a lot to that organization, Imperial Dynasty, um, just from you know learning and getting into a, a different uh, a different style and everything, different um, grooves and all that. Um, so, yeah, I played through high school. Um, after high school, I did a lot of marching band, drumline stuff, and then, um, like I said, more recently is when I really got into um, steel pan and steel band and all that. Um, I also studied at the University of Delaware, um, doing percussion there. So I got a lot of different. Um, a lot of different experiences by doing that as well. And then like I mentioned earlier, I, I played for Sherzondo um, in 2020 before COVID shut the world down. And then I was able to come back this year and perform with them as well. Um, and hopefully some point uh, I'll get to, to play with a, a large band. Um, so if you, any large bands need any percussionists, let me know. Um, and maybe I'll even come back at some point and play with a uh, few guys. I don't know. Uh, that'd be cool. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my my background. On behalf of Nothing Make Fun Group, I would like to thank you for showing us about instruments, telling us more about this. Thank you for coming. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. I enjoy playing with you all a little bit. You know, always cool to jam. So, thank you for having me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome.